Okay, in this video today, we're gonna go ahead and show you how the LPR camera works on the Paramount MDR. This is the PAR P2 LPR 722. So to get your best results, you want a head-on shot. That way, during the day and nighttime, you get a shot of the LPR with no reflectiveness, and the NVR is capable of reading. So here you'll see the black SUV does pass, and it triggers on the right-hand column. Okay, by clicking the event, you can see the date, the time, the camera name, if named, and then the plate number. So by clicking more, you have your uh, register export options, or you could search. So by searching, it will bring you back to the exact event, okay? Um, or you can hit the little magnifying glass that will bring you into the search menu. And then on the left-hand side, you have vehicle. So you can cha uh, change your attribute, your camera, and then do searching. So within the search results, it'll show you all the vehicles that it, at, it has captured. And then it'll, by clicking on the event, it'll give you a preview in the bottom left-hand corner. Okay, you can also search by letters and numbers. So if you weren't sure of what the actual plate was or you know that it had an HZ that you'll see in the video here, or it had a 9.9 in it, you can go ahead and do so. So you would choose the camera, the attribute, uh, the plate, and then you could put in the search parameters and hit search, and it'll give you the results there. So next, if you exit the menu from here, you can then click on the image and register it. So by clicking more and register, It'll give you the plate number. You can put in the vehicle type. So for, in this case, we'll put truck. You can put in the vehicle owner. In this case, it's Matt. You can add things along the lines like his cell phone, and then you can create groups. So by adding a group, we'll add the Invid group, okay, considering he's an Invid employee. So now this will be a group. So I can add all employees to this group. The record validity is for how long he's in that group. So you, by checking that, it would be 30 days or whatever is set for. So now, once Matt pulls back in and comes and passes the LPR camera, it will now capture him and give you a successful, rather than a strange plate below it, since he is registered. And you can have alarm triggers uh, triggered, you can have buzzers, sound, pop-up messages display. Okay, and within the snap detail, they'll give you the registered owner of that, that vehicle as well. And that is how the LPR functions. So again, Always remember to try to mount it head on direct because as you can see here during the daytime, it's always going to snap it. Um, but at nighttime is where it will definitely impact the most as you want the IRs to help capture the plate at night. 